Hello, this is Roy Snow.、Uh, quite a while ago, I made a video about how to save and load your game data. And at that time, I used a text file to save the data. That's probably the simplest way to save your data, but since it's a text file, you can easily open it and edit it. And that's not so good when you let your friends play your game because They can increase their level or HP as they want. So, this time I will introduce another method. We are going to create not a text file, but a DAT file or a data file and save our data on it. So, yeah, let's start. So, this time we are going to save player name and player level and player HP. So, I created this sample program. So, you can type like a, your name, and also you can increase the level and also HP. And also, we are gonna save this data and then close the program and start it again and load, load the data.、Uh, let me explain about this program real quick in case you're wondering. Yeah, this is JFrame 500 and 500. And this is JText area. And this is JText field. So you can type text. And、uh, in this action performed method of、uh, JText field, we receive inputted text as player name. And、uh, this is level up button. So if you press this button, then the player level increases by one. And if you, yeah, this is HP button. And so if you click this, Player HP increases by one. And that's it. And the save and load button, I haven't added anything because that's the theme of this tutorial. So we're gonna add save function to this save button and then add load function to this load button. And、uh, yeah, also、um, I created this update text method. So, whenever you, know, you increase your level or change name, it's gonna call this update text method and、uh, it's gonna display、uh, player name, player level, and player HP. So, to save these data, first we're gonna create another class. And、uh, I'm gonna name this data. Storage class or something. And、uh, this class implements serial, realizable, and import. And then、uh, we're gonna create some variables. First, string, player name, and then integer. Uh, player level and the player HP. And that's everything about this class. So this class is done. So basically, what we're gonna do is save this class itself and then load this object. So when we load this data storage class, then、uh, we can access to you know, these variables. Alright, so first,、um, This save button and inside of this action performed,、uh, we're gonna create、um, try and catch here.、Uh, okay, IO exception. Edit print stack trace. And、uh, okay,、uh, duplicate. Ah, yes, we already used E, so.、Um, EX and then file output stream FOS equal new file output stream and inside of this bracket we're gonna input file name and、uh, type. Save dot dat 
you can choose whatever name you want here. And then uh, buffered output stream BOS call new buffered output stream. Uh, and inside of this bracket, type FOS or file output stream. Then object output stream uh, OS go new object output stream and inside of this bracket type BOS and import. Okay, then we're gonna uh, we're gonna instantiate this data storage class. So the storage call new data storage. So now we can access these variables. So first storage dot player name equal player name. This player name is a uh, this one. So inside of this main main class, whenever you type something in this JText field, so you know we can get the text as a player name. So this one. So we're gonna pass this player name to this player name inside of this data storage class. Uh, also, data storage dot player level level call play uh, level and the storage dot player hp call player hp so basically we're gonna just pass the variables we are using in our game to this data storage all right then finally we're gonna use this object output stream os dot write object and the the storage and close so after write this object then uh, we're gonna close this os uh, okay that's everything about this save save button uh, let's uh, take care of this load button and it's kind of similar so another try and catch this time we're gonna check two exception high ex exception it's stock trace and also also uh, what is it? class not found exception ex and and also print stack trace all right then uh, file input stream so if i s go new file input stream and also save that dat and then buffered input stream stream uh, b i s call new preferred input uh, stream and f i s and this finally object input stream o i s call new object input stream uh, b i s wait what oh no buffer buffer yeah and okay and then uh, 
data storage again. Storage this storage uh, bracket data storage hmm? storage uh, ois dot read object wait yeah equal equal yeah what we just did is we write this object data storage class to this uh, dot file and then we just read this data storage class from this save dot dot file so now we're going to recover the data first player name uh, equal d storage dot player name and uh, player level call the storage dot player level and the player hp call the storage dot player hp and finally we're gonna close this ys and uh, i think that's everything Hmm. Okay, let's uh, check it. All right. So this is uh, the default value. So let's type name. Press no and uh, level up, like level 10 and the HP, I don't know, like 30. And uh, this is the project folder of this uh, this project if you click this save button yeah so this save that file just appeared and if you open this then wow well, what what the heck is this so it doesn't really make sense you know it's like a cryptic text or something and now so we saved our data to this file so let's close this program and uh, run this again so everything is at the default value now and if you click this load button what the freak why what i think i have forgotten something so after loaded this data we need to update text so we need to call this update text method otherwise you know updated data won't show up so yeah let's try again uh, okay quick load okay so yeah we succeeded to load our saved data okay if we change the name again and the save and the close and run the program again and uh, load the data so like this mm. so that's how to save your game data to that file i hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching and see you again bye